What's going on YouTube? This is Marcus back for another video. I know I'm late. I'm almost like a week behind, but I'm here to do With the Campbell season one, episode nine, all of my life, which is the season finale. Um, overall, I think the season was pretty good. It wasn't a whole bunch of drama, thankfully. I, I liked to see this part of them versus all of the extra this with Tina and Mary Mary and all that other crap. Um, <clears throat> I think that if the show does come back for another season, they probably could reduce it to just 30 minutes. I don't feel like, I feel like there's, in majority of the episodes, there was a lot of extra stuff that was thrown in that um, we could have done without. Like I said, I don't, I didn't really care for Google. We could have left her out of the storylines. We could have left Joy out as well. I guess since Joy is a part of my block, I guess her little bit was somewhat beneficial. But anyway, so the episode starts off. We see Warren and Erica talking, and he tells her that he got a call, and she's been invited to be on Kirk Franklin's Exodus tour. Um, so she said, asked him what the date is, and he says it's on the twenty sixth, and she says, "Well, that's our anniversary." Um, and so in the confessional, she was like, you know, it's not typical for us to be working on our 17th anniversary, but this is Kirk Franklin. And how did you say no? And I'm like, you just tell them no. I mean, Kirk Franklin has been married. I believe him and his wife have been married longer than Warren and Erica have been married. So, uh, so I'm pretty sure if they had told him, you know, thank you for the invitation. But, you know, that's our wedding anniversary. Um, whatever. I'm pretty sure he would understand. Um, so... He says, so Warren says, okay, well, we can just, you know, once you, once we get off, well, once you get off stage, then we can go do something. She says, no, you said it right the first time is once we get off stage, we can perform all of my life. Now, at this particular point of the show, I'm not sure if the song has gotten any buzz. Like, I'm not sure if it's being played on the radio or anything like that. So, f for you to perform a new song that ain't nobody heard is kind of... I don't know. Um, and I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. The When they when they did perform the song, now if y'all remember the week last episode, I mean last review or the review before, I told y'all that I was able to watch them perform it live. Well, the performance that I watched is the same performance that they're going to show in this episode. Um, and from what I could see, they got a pretty good response from the audience. So I guess, you know. But anyway, so the next scene... Erica and Misty are in the now does Misty live with Erica or is she just always at their house like I'm trying to understand do people have their personal assistance living with them like cuz I'm assuming she she must ain't got no man cuz she's always surrounded it in, in engulfed in Erica and Warren's business but anyway now and, and speaking of Misty, why they wait to the last episode to give her a confessional? Like she been in, she been on the show consistently since since episode one. This is the first, unless I'm missing something, but this is the first time I've seen her in a confessional. But anyway, so they, you if y'all remember, she did this thing on Instagram where the women were supposed to post themselves um, on Instagram wearing some of Erica's hair and they're supposed to tag her so she can see it and whoever rocks it the best they was gonna get a digital meet and greet now me personally I felt like the digital meet and greet was kind of cheesy like she could have flew somebody out there to meet her but anyway so they found the girl that won you know they did uh, FaceTimed her a video chatted her or whatever her and Erica got to talk whatever whatever um so the next thing Joy comes over and would you know yeah so joy and mama campbell come over um joy had just got back from tour and side note krista look real mature with the braids and stuff in her hair and, you know and you can tell she's wearing makeup and she even i see she done had put on some of her mama's hoop earrings i feel like the hoop earrings is a little bit too grown for especially hoops that big for a 13 year old but anyway um, so they all sit down watching Joy's performance. Warren tells her that she did a good job. And so Joy was like, you know, I feel good. I, I want to do this again. And so Warren says, well, it's funny you mentioned that because I just got a call about some more shows. Think of myself like, why you ain't been tell her that? Like you wait until after she say she want to keep doing it. Oh, I got a call about some more. So what if she had said, oh, you know, that was fun, but I don't want to do this no more. 
Because I'm assuming since he got the call, he he had already booked her for the shows without talking to her first. But anyway, so they this is what Erica tells them that they've been booked to be on Kurt Franklin's tour. Now my thing is, have they made it made Kurt Frank, Franklin aware of the fact that it's going to be her and Warren performing? Because when he made the call to Warren, he only asked for Erica to perform. So. Well, I'm. I don't think he said anything to him because he would. He didn't know that Erica was gonna want him to perform a song with her. So I'm like, are they gonna let him know ahead of time? Like, hey, you know, I, I want to perform my new song, me and Warren, whatever, whatever. Or are they just gonna show up and be like, girl, this is what it is. Um. So the next thing, Erica and Warren are kind of talking about Misty, talking about how good of a job is she doing. And so Warren says, well, how is she doing? We know she's handling the business good, but how is she herself doing? So they call her in, you know, ask her how she's doing. And she tells them that, you know, I love working for y'all, but sometimes it's a challenge. Because, I mean, you know, they have a lot on their plate. Because, it's you know, with Warren, she has to deal with Warren. You know, deal with his bookings and what he got going on. Along with all of his artists that he has working up under him. Eric Campbell, you got radio. Um... The hairline, the book, music, all of that stuff. I I do kind of feel like they she need they need to find her an assistant because it's a lot, and I kind of feel like she's more overwhelmed than what she was trying to let on. I feel like sometimes it probably does get hectic, but she's trying to keep a brave face. I guess I think in her mind she feels like because they have so much confidence in me, I don't want to let them down. Um. But yeah, I kind of feel like it's probably a lot on her anyway. Um, so they say that Warren tells her that while they're in Dallas um, for the exit of the show, they're going to give her some time off. But something tells me they're going to end up having to call her for something anyway. So uh, Erica and Miss Honey go to meet up with Goo Goo in her. I don't know if this is like her studio or whatever, but um, they sit down and kind of catch up. Um, Goo Goo tells them about how. You know, she had some sketches that she sent to the distributing person. I forgot what the title was, but she sent it to him. He likes everything. So now um, they're in the process of shopping the designs and things to the different department stores. So I thought that was, you know, a cute little thing. Congratulations to Gugu. Um, you know, she's finally doing what she wants to do. I think that she loves, I think that she enjoys styling, but that really wasn't where her heart and her passion was. So she's finally able to do what she likes to do, what her passion is. Um, so the next scene, Erica goes to meet with her stylist. Um, this is the same guy that styled her for the Help album. Y'all remember she had on that, that white dress. With the long hair and the white shoes and the church gave her the business for it. Well, some of the church did because I didn't see no problem with what she had on. But they gave her the business for it. Um, so, you know, she goes and tries on these bunch of different outfits. And so she settles for this jumpsuit. I noticed that a lot of times when Erica performs, she she always has on like a, a, light, a nice jumpsuit or a cat suit, whatever you call it. Um... So the next scene, we see Misty with her best friend. Her best friend is there from, oh, excuse me, has flew in from Chicago, and she talks about how her best friend has, you know, has been able to um, expand her career and you know all these different avenues. So she kind of wanted to pick her brain a little bit about trying to find balance because she does tell her that along with. You know, managing Eric Campbell. She's also managing Warren Campbell and all of the artists that come up under him. Um, and so the friend was like, "Girl, we're just gonna have to find balance." And I was, and then they cut the scene off, and I was like, "Why did Why did they make the scene so short?" I was thinking that she was gonna be able to ask her, you know, "Well, how do you do that?" But whatever. So Erica and Warren are in rehearsal for all of my life. Apparently, whoever sent the track to the band, they sent the wrong track. The background vocals were missing, and a lot of the extra stuff that was that's in the actual song is missing. So they having a hard time rehearsing because if they perform to the what they were sent, then a lot of the then they're gonna have Eric and Warren are gonna have to not only sing their parts, but they're gonna have to 
like ad lib and add all that extra stuff that's missing. So um, he ends up sending a text to Missy while she's in the painting class. You know, like I need your help. You know, they sent us sent the wrong track and we need it. She texts me back and says I'm on I'm on it. Um and then after that, so Erica, you know, was wanting to rehearse the song as it is so she can kind of get her her flow together. Um and then after they do rehearsal, they have to go to sound check. Um Now my thing is why y'all didn't have her to send the song ahead of time. I don't know I don't know exactly who it was that sent because when Warren was like, Well what is this? And he was like, the guy said this is what they sent. I don't know who they is, but um or why y'all didn't already have the song on like a CD or something or something that you could you know, like a USB drive or something that you you could have brought with you. I don't know, y'all. I'm just like You should have just stuck with the original plan and just had it. Well, Erica ain't got no new music out, though, so what was she going to sing? Anyway. So, pretty much the last part of the episode was the performance. Um, so, they go to do... They on stage to do sound check. And there's people coming in, sitting down in the audience already. And they sitting there like, girl, how you go... Now, that's my thing. If y'all knew the people was in there doing sound check, why would y'all let people in the door so early? But whatever. So, they had to do sound check from the back of the stage versus in the front. So the performance is here. I'm assuming that Kirk still didn't know that uh, Erica and Warren was going to perform together because when he introduced her, he only introduced Erica. So she come out on stage, she do a little bit of talking, she introduced Warren, they perform. Audience like the song. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> so the end of the episode, they go out for dinner for the anniversary. And they just kind of reflecting on everything. They, you know, for, talk, for reflecting on the children, um, about how they're, you know, growing up, and you know, just the change of like when they were younger and you know, first born and how they are now. Um, you know, Krista is you know growing up and she's extremely intelligent and you know very intuitive. You know, Wozy was always a shy child, but he's kind of coming out of his shell. Um, Zaya, they said she loved God, but she a work in progress. Um, and then this is, the scene kind of got very emotional because, um, you know, they was talking about how they've been married for 17 years. And Erica says, well, you know, is it okay that I'm loud in the morning? He says, you know, yeah, because if you weren't there, you know, I just couldn't imagine, you know, life without you being there. And so, you know, if they get emotional and then they do, you know, a reflection they were showing like some of the old pictures from back in the day. Um, and when I saw that wedding picture, I was like, I remember that. I don't know. It's not on YouTube no more, anymore, but there was a, a a video of their wedding. Like the moments leading up to the wedding and then the actual, like the wedding and the reception and all that. It was, they showed, they had, it was on this show called Our Wedding Story, I think. And it was on YouTube. Um... But it's not up there no more. So when I was watching, I was like, I remember that. Um, they met. They had what he said. They met twenty years ago. They got married seventeen years ago. And then they were showing different pictures of like when Erica was pregnant with Krista and when she first had Krista and all of that. I thought that was really cute. Um, I think that the show ended on a good note. But but at the same time, the way it ended, you know, most time if a show was gonna come back for another season, it kind of ends on a cliffhanger. But I don't know. The way it ended, I'm not sure if it's going to be another season or not. Um, but anyway, thank y'all for rocking with me throughout this journey. Um, I think I reviewed just about every episode. Um, but anyway, if there's anything that I missed, y'all can of course leave it in the comment section. We can talk about it. Listen. I appreciate y'all for subscribing to my channel because every day I check my email and it say such and such, so and so subscribe. But be an active subscriber. Don't just subscribe just to say you subscribe. If you're going to subscribe, leave a comment. You know, we can chat and do whatever because I do respond to the comments. I don't, I'm not one of them YouTubers that just read comments and just like or whatever. I do respond. You know, we can talk and converse and all that stuff in the comment section. If you're not, a, but thank you for subscribing though. But if you're gonna subscribe, be like like uh, Jay Lee says, be an active subscriber. Um, 
If you're not subscribed, go. You can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Um, like this video, share this video wherever you like to share videos, so I can, you know, help me get my viewership up. Y'all know I'm, you know, on AdSense now, so I'm trying to get my little coins. But anyway, if you've missed any of my previous Willie Campbell's reviews, the link to that playlist will be in the description box. If you can also follow me on my social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, that will be listed in the description box also. And just a heads up, um, I will be coming back between, because today is Tuesday, so between now and Friday, I will have the review for Brats and the Family Values, episode 10, and then the two episodes of Greenleaf, because that comes back on one, one, one it's a two-night premiere, one episode comes on, I think, tonight, and the second episode comes on tomorrow night, so between now and Friday, those three videos will be up also, so be looking out for those. Um, and I think that's it, so I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.